let's talk about how the math test is scored. So for every right answer you get, you're going to get a plus one to your raw score. For every wrong answer you get, you're going to get no credit, which is what you would expect. This would also be true if you omitted it. So if you left it blank, you would get no credit. So in terms of guessing, you should always guess. I mean, of course, we want to minimize our guessing just because we want to really make sure we can get an answer that we think is good. But if you have to, let's say you run out of time or you just have no idea what to do on a certain question, you don't know where to begin, make a guess. There's no reason not to, even if it's completely random. If you get it wrong, you get no credit as you would if you had an answer that was wrong. If you get it right, you get plus one. So always guess. Once, you've get your, once you get your raw score, remember there are 58 total questions, so it's out of 58. They would take the raw score, go to a table that looks like this, and then you can get the scaled score based on the table. So for example, let's say you got 46 questions right, that would be equal to a 690. Now this scale is one that's from one of the practice tests. We don't quite know yet what the scales will look like for real administered SATs, that's still coming. But note that every scale for each test is going to be different because every test is different. And the whole point of having these customized scales is so that every test is fair. Right? So that's not going to matter, matter whether you take test A or test B or test C on any given date or that you take it with this cohort or this cohort, this group of students, this group of students. They're going to allegedly even all out all those differences so that whenever you take the test, you're going to get the score that you allegedly deserve. So don't worry about when you should take the test, what month is best. Just focus on taking the test when you're ready. And then finally, of course, this is uh, your scaled score, which is on the score report. It's from 200 to 800 on the SAT. Uh, 800 being perfect, of course, 200 being not perfect. Uh, and then higher is better. We don't quite know yet what the averages will be. On the old SAT, it was around 500. And I think it's fair to expect somewhere around 500 will probably be the average, and then we will learn uh, later, and I will update this course later once we have an idea of what an average score is, what a good score is, and once we have some idea of what the score might end up meeting. So all we know for now, though, is higher is better.